Alright folks, this is the first time I'm watching the Battlefield 5 trailer, so I'm going to watch this and uh, give you some play-by-play -play as I do. And I'm watching this from within Battlefield 1. this way um, I'm definitely not doing a pre-order let's see what the pre what happens if we do try a pre-order see what it costs let's take a look eighty bucks for the pre-order okay no uh-uh what do we get with our pre-order? Early access to the base game, five sets of paratrooper outfits, special assignments, 20 weekly items with airlift, vital supplies for 20 weekly airlifts, pre-order, a bonus count including early access to the open beta, one additional special soldier set, immediate access to five battle. No, I see nothing here that says a pre-order is worth 80 bucks. Nothing. And I guarantee there's going to be a season pass or a premium that's at this point is probably going to be 150 bucks. I don't see it. Big deal. I see this 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 reeks of loot crate. No. And World War II? Well, let me tell you, Battlefield 1942 is pretty good. I ha I played that. That's how I came into Battlefield like a lot of people did way back when. Um, Battlefield 1 is a better game than Battlefield 4 as far as it feels more balanced, and I think Battlefield 5 will be the same in that respect. But just like with the Star Wars games, I think uh, I mean, I've already seen it. If you watch most recent videos on Battlefield 1, you saw kind of the uh, loot crate thing going on. Um, no. Maybe if it goes on sale like Battlefield 1 did in a year or so and it's 20 bucks, I might pick it up. But now, no. I'm not seeing anything uh, exciting about it. Let me, let me give you a little background about me and, uh, and Battlefield games. I started with 1942 way over 10 years ago. 
um, enjoyed the game and played it with a friend. I enjoyed the co-op. I never really cared much for the multiplayer, but and I've never really cared that much for multiplayer in Battlefield games. In fact, Battlefield 1 has some of the best multiplayer I've seen in a Battlefield game ever, uh, surpassing even Battlefield 3, which was pretty good, and uh, definitely better than Battlefield 4. But that said, I'm not see, I'm not feeling it, guys. I'm just not feeling it. And I don't trust DA. I don't trust pre-orders from anybody. You buy you a pre-order. Well, if you got the money to burn, great. If you're you know a YouTube channel that relies on early access net, well, chances are you're getting early access anyway without dropping a dime. So who cares? I'm guarantee in the first within the first day of open beta there'll be a at least a thousand videos of, posted of it. You know, if they're doing anything at E3, which I don't know, I haven't been following it, but if they've done anything at E3, I'm sure there's already videos up there about Battlefield 5. It's just tired. I'm waiting. I'm really, it's a tired model. I've been around, guys. I'm, you know, relatively, I'm an old man. I've seen gaming evolve. I mean, I started back when, you know, you just plugged a cartridge in and hooked it up to your television. And I can tell you, this this is this is nothing exciting, and it certainly isn't worth eighty bucks. Um, you know, I thought the, I thought they did as good as they could with Battlefield One with World War One. I. I think that's it's well executed. Um, it doesn't really strike my fancy, though. I prefer. I really don't like to go back in war games any further than World War Two. Um, some of the most fun I ever had was in Battlefield 1942 was, was playing like the Wake Island and that kind of thing. But um, the most fun I had with Battlefield game was the Desert Combat mod, which eventually led to Battlefield 2 and ultimately Battlefield 3. Um, that was a mod for 1942. I remember a buddy of mine, we played that for hours. Just loved it. You know, that was good stuff. And that was a dice splinter team that made that. It was a kind of on the down low and ended up being the direction of Battlefield. This, go, you know, basically a reboot of Battlefield 1942 is what this looks like. So, I don't know. At least the weapons will be better. We know that much. But in the end... I can't see a pre-order for this. Anyway, folks, that's it. Enjoy. Game on. Duds out.